Now I haven't been using handstand blocks as much as I used to, but yesterday I had to do a demo video for a client, this one here where I'm stacking the blocks and turning them over. It's a really cool drill. And it reminded me how much fun they are. So I'm gonna add them back in, probably to my daily practice or at least every other day when I do a bit of balance work before my strength, I'm gonna get back on the blocks. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for today's practice. These are the standard blocks. These ones are from Yavao. These are very old. And I recommend you either make some or buy some. You can get ones like this. These are smaller ones. These are slightly bigger variation, again, from your vow. Um, you can use yoga blocks. Yoga blocks work quite nicely. Just make sure that you've got the hard ones. They're not as good as a handstand block, but they work and obviously they're something you can just buy off the shelf. The cork ones work well. Uh, the round ones are cool as well. These ones are from uh, the handstand movement in the UK. I think she makes the uh, rectangular ones as well. They're fantastic. They've got the nice rubber base on them. So good when you're starting because they don't slip around. The downside of having the rubber base on is that they don't slide so well. So sometimes you want them to slide. And also they can move around a little bit as well, but if you're starting out, the rubber base is actually probably better for you. So in terms of a warm up, I'd recommend that you warm up your handstand on the floor. Now these can be done against the wall or they can be done freestanding. Obviously the goal would be to do it freestanding. So make sure that you have a nice comfortable handstand on the floor first and then do exactly the same thing, but on the blocks. Now I'm gripping the block like this. So I've got two fingers around the top, the other fingers around the outside. I'm not a fan of having a block where this finger touches the floor. So you want the thickness there so that these fingers don't touch the floor and get in the way. Some people like three fingers around the top. I wouldn't go one finger. I'd go at least two or three. And then do exactly the same as your floor handstand and just get comfortable with that position. Have a little play around, rocking side to side, see how the body feels. Now obviously the blocks are meant for a one arm practice. Where we're gonna start transferring weight to one side, over to the other side. And so I would recommend that you start to get used to that transitioning of weight. Now if you're not working one arm handstands, we need to start to understand what the process is to be able to shift some weight across. So what I'm doing there is I'm looking across towards this hand, and I'm also bringing the elbow and shoulder inwards towards the midline while shifting my hip in this direction. So the hip is going in this direction, the shoulder and the elbow are coming in in the opposite direction, and they'll get to a point where they balance the weight on top. So at that point where my hip goes sideways and my shoulder and my elbow come in, I'll start to feel this hand is starting to get weightless. Now, it does take around two years to get to the point where you can take that hand off completely. So don't rush that process. But for the drills that we're gonna play with today, you don't need to be at that level. You just need to be at a comfortable level on your hands. And obviously you can keep progressing it to whatever level you're at. So once I've got comfortable balancing on two blocks and I'm comfortable at balancing on the floor, I can do the next level, which is one block, one hand on the floor. So there, now you could be in straddle, you could be in straight, you could be in diamond. You could be in tuck, whatever your variations you're comfortable with, I'll play with that first. I've just done one side, so left hand on the floor, right hand on the block. Now I'm gonna swap it over, left hand on the block, right hand on the floor. Again, getting comfortable with that. Now I'm not too worried about where the weight is. Obviously with a standard two arm handstand and in that position, I've got equal weight in both hands. When I come to there, I could have more weight in this hand, I could have more weight in this hand, or again, I could have equal weight. Start with, just get used to balancing. Don't worry about where the weight is. Don't really worry about how you're doing it, whether you're like this, or whether you've got to bend in that elbow to compensate for the extra height there. Just prioritize balance and consistency in that catch first. Then I'm gonna do the same thing again, so go back into that position, but now the difference is I'm gonna put weight into this left hand, look across the left hand, shift some weight over. Now notice this left foot has come down lower than this right foot. If I wanna make it nice and clean, I could go into straddle, then I'm gonna flag down a little bit, more weight into this left, Hand. So what's happening there is I'm also doing this type of movement to shift the weight across, bring the hip across. Now go very slowly with that because what will tend to happen is you'll go quickly in that direction and collapse down the outside or towards the overbalance or towards the underbalance. So make it quite subtle to start with, but the goal is gonna to be to transfer more weight to this left side to the point where my right hand is starting to become light and I can move that out of the way. Now I nearly fell over there because I didn't quite get the little finger off and I nearly done that. And you're gonna find to start if it's a bit messy, this is gonna get in the way or you're gonna transfer way too much weight and you're just gonna fall down. So if I'm there, I'm gonna shift like that and I'm gonna end up like that. But what we need to try and do is get to the point where there's less weight in here, but I've stopped moving. So I'm here, shift across, there's less weight in this right hand and I can shift it out of the way and then come back to my start position. Now, once I can do it on that side, I'm gonna do exactly the same on this side. 
So now the right side, which is my dominant side, go into my straddle, shift across, get weight out of that left hand, move it out of the way, come back to the center, show control. Now, if you're newer to these type of drills or you're newer to the blocks, you're probably gonna find that that's gonna take you a few weeks or even months to get that nice and clean. But if we're ready to progress it a bit further, we're now gonna do exactly the same thing, but start on two blocks. So now in that same start position, so make sure you're nice and comfortable into your straddle, look across to one side, shift the weight, decrease the weight out of the other hand, move that out the way, bring the hand back down. Now you're back to that position we was on that first drill and I can repeat the same thing, move that out of the way, come back to my start position. Then I just go for exactly the same process but start with the other arm first. So now I'm going into my left first, move that out of the way, come down to that position, back to that, shift that one, back to that start position. And then if that feels okay, we've got a couple of options. So I can either go back up the blocks or I can just add blocks. So if I add another two blocks, exactly the same start position, come across, move one block out the way, catch, same thing, move that block, I'm back to where we were on the previous drill, to there, then the first drill, and then there, and then I'm all the way down. And you could just keep going if you've got more and more blocks. But if you're seriously working towards the one arm handstand, I'd recommend going back up as soon as possible, because that's gonna really work the push and the fingertip positioning drill that you're gonna be doing thousands of reps of to get that one arm handstand. So to go back up, I'm just gonna place the blocks here. I'm gonna go into my standard handstand position. So what I wanna think about here is that I'm always working here. I'm not gonna be handstanding there. So when I go to a block and bring it in, it's always in the same position. So it's directly underneath my shoulders in that position. I'm not ending up in a wide handstand position. So I'm here, my blocks are on the outside. I'm gonna go up to here. I'm gonna look, woo. I'm gonna look at my right hand. I'm gonna to open to my straddle. I'm gonna shift weight across. That allows me to go fingertips on the left. I can pull that block in. Now I'll go left. Now this is a big push up to fingertips here. Look at that left hand grab hold of this block, come back to the middle, bring the legs together, show control. Now I could go back down to that first drill, back to that start position. So that's going back up. Now obviously again, you can climb more blocks, you can go for repetitions, you could go in straddle, you could go in straight, you could go in diamond, tuck any of the positions. So lots and lots of options there. Just think about which one you wanna do. If you wanna stay more fun, play with the walking down on the blocks. You could go lateral shifts, so using multiple blocks in a row. Or if you're more serious about that one arm, work the down and the back up. Really work on your technique. Let me know if you have any questions. If you have to programs for your hand balancing up to a one arm from a beginner level, check out my app, link is down in the description or reach out for coaching, www.paultwyman.com.au and I'll speak to you in the next one.